Hey everyone, Zach here, and today I'm going to cover a WordPress issue that's bugged quite a bit of people. I'm talking about the submit for review button when you're an admin issue, which you shouldn't have as an admin, but if you're not an admin, don't worry about it because it just means that the admin hasn't given your subscriber level or your user level proper rights to directly publish something instead of just submitting it. But he'll review it and publish it later. This video is more if you're an admin and you've just migrated your site and you're having issues with getting submit for review, which stops you from uploading media and publishing posts and pages. So we're going to go ahead and jumpstart and get right into that. Okay, so you're in your back end right now. And before we get started with getting the actual tour process, I kind of want to explain exactly the issue. So when you migrate a WordPress site, I've noticed this with Avada and other site builders too, when you've migrated a site, is that sometimes in the post part, of your database, there will be extra zeros at the very end of the database, and databases don't like that. Those extra zeros that I'm talking about are in the ID field. ID in like 99% of databases in the world is what's called a primary key. It's a unique identifier for every single item in that table. So if your ID is whacked up and there's multiple zeros, it won't be able to auto increment, which means that you can't add new items to your WordPress site and you can't publish anything like I was saying before. So we're gonna go right now, we're gonna go ahead and get started. There's my mouse, thank you. So we're gonna go right into the PHP My Admin. This is where you have your databases. And I'm, I was stupid enough to made this, but didn't do my WordPress site properly, so they created one for me. So we're gonna go into here. Now the problem is gonna be in your WP or whatever it is, post table, like I was saying. So you go into your post table and you go to the last page and usually if there's been issues with the migration, the last di couple digits will be zeros instead of you know, 79, 80. So what you gotta do, you click on export for while you're click on this post, you're gonna export this table. So we've had an export, I, I did this before, didn't quite work out, but that's not the end of the world. We're gonna go into our download section now or wherever it is that you download stuff from. And we're gonna, we'll work with the file that I just downloaded but you're gonna go ahead and open this up with your favorite text editor. Now, I don't like Notepad, personally. I'd rather use something like Visual Studio Code that color codes your code so you can see it properly. So you're gonna go ahead and open up Visual Studio Code. And here is, yeah, here, see, it says set SQL mode, no auto value on zero, which means that it's not gonna auto increment on zero. And that's what we had set up in our, um, sorry, we had that set up in our, uh, database when we imported the video file originally, but that's not the point. This ID here, which is what we're targeting, is supposed to be a primary key. So when it says insert into this with the ID, which this means that the first field is going to be your ID field. So scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll usually see at the end that there are multiple zeros at the very end. So what you're going to do, and this is what I recommend, is you're going to increment that. So let's say my last number was 70. I'm not going to do 85,000, 45 million and stuff like that. That's just stupid. Let's just do a 71, blah, 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 blah. See here, all the numbers are just getting bigger and bigger and there's no duplicates. So anyways, you're going to go ahead and you're going to edit those and make those real numbers, save your file, close this up, you're then gonna go back to here, click on your database. I'm not gonna actually do this, but I will walk you through it. You're gonna check this, and with the, with the selected, you're going to drop the table. So you're temporarily not gonna have any post content for your site, that's no big deal, because once you drop this table, you're gonna go onto your main database, you wanna click on here again just to make sure you're there, that's fine. You're gonna go on to import, and you're gonna select that WP post file that we just edited and re-uploaded. That won't crash your database, it's just gonna re-put in your WP post where it was before your site will be back to functionality, but I don't want you to try and upload something now because it's not going to work. So we're gonna click on our WP post, and we're gonna click on structure. Once you're in your structure, you see how I have a little key here? That's a, I have two keys, I have primary, and I have index. So we need to make sure that there's a, a golden key here. And if there isn't one, that's fine. You just click the primary button right here and it'll make this the primary key. Still not done. Next, you're gonna go into your change and there's a little item here that says AI, which when you hover over it, it says auto increment. You're gonna check that to true. You're gonna click save. And if you have no duplicate zeros and your ID is the primary key, it will auto increment. Then when you go back to your WordPress site, you'll be able to re-upload it. Leave a comment below if this works for you. We'll see you next time.